It's almost time for the lights to go green to mark the start of another exciting Formula 2 qualifying session here at the Hockenheim Ring in Germany. Let's head down to the action. Fantastic. You've got pole. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Schumacher, Tete Camera, and Luca Giotto. With qualifying complete, all that remains is... An iconic circuit is the location for today's Formula 2 action as we get ready for another thrilling race at the world-famous Hockenheim Ring in the heart of the Rhine Valley. With a storied past, the Hockenheim Ring, located in the heart of the Rhine Valley, houses a wonderful balance between technicality and pure power, helping to show off the many facets of modern motor racing. We'll be expecting a competitive race out there today from these young drivers. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. There are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. Well then, after an exciting session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up.
data shows that tyres are okay right now. We anticipate good levels of grip for the next few laps at least. Your brakes are in the optimum temperature zone. The gap behind us is 2.8 seconds. They're on fresh super softs. Their tyres are one lap old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 36.7. Leading our teammate by 9.8 seconds. They're on fresh super softs. They're in 15th. The time last lap was a That's a fantastic performance from Prima. It hardly looked in doubt. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I think this race was won thanks to the tyre management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tyres that's where they won today. It looks like it's time for the victory ceremony once again, as I can see the drivers beginning to make their way out for the celebrations. You can see it on their faces. It's another marvellous team win for Prima today. <laughs>